I'm traveling. I'm uh, in United States, so you might hear some shooting in the background. There is actually shooting. But that's okay, because I'm in the woods. I have a couple things to share with you about what I'm traveling with. Now, this is not going to be a typical video where I open up a brand new shiny backpack with some shiny brand new things that I just bought to show you and have links down below. This is my old backpack. I've been traveling with this backpack for probably close to 12 years. Yes, same backpack. It's still okay. I take it everywhere. It's a Samsonite. This video is not sponsored by anybody. I'm a software developer, so there's going to be things I use here for that. And I also make videos, so there's going to be a few things about that. If I find links for this stuff, I will put them in the description. And if you like these things, you want to support the channel, you can purchase them using my links. Ugh. A little on the heavy side. Because I have one extra thing in here that I don't normally have with me. First, my pocket configuration is always the same. Right pocket keys, left pocket iPhone. I'm on the 15 Pro right now. And in the back pocket, but I'm not going to tell you which, just in case we're on the train together. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, my wallet. I don't even know what this wallet is. A friend of mine gave me this wallet a few years ago, and I really like thin wallets that just fit in my pocket so I don't feel them and I can sit on them. Not even sure where you can buy one of these. I like that style of wallet. With the iPhone, I initially started with the Apple silicon case. It's expensive. <laughs> it's terrible. It doesn't slide, uh, which I need it to slide when I'm putting it in and out of my pocket. So I found this one. It's called the Zira. It's relatively inexpensive. It's like 15 dollars but it took about three weeks to get to me from china the key is never putting these two in the same pocket very important some of these things might be embarrassing because i might have had it in here for a long time not sure uh this is not something i usually carry with me but i have it with me this time because this is a one terabyte really fast samsung ssd with an enclosure i actually made a video about this and i have it with me because i need an external storage to store video files dental hygiene very important Floss. We still need these things once in a while. It's a mask. I have a couple of pens in here. Good old fashioned stuff. You never know when you're going to need one of those. Oh, a piece of technology. Finally, I've been trying out this thing called Plod. Basically, it's a little recorder you use to take notes. And it's way better at understanding me and transcribing what I'm saying because it's got AI built into it. You connect this with your phone and I speak into it when I have some kind of idea. It generates an outline. It generates a summary. It comes with this little letter their carrying case that attaches to my phone, but I never use it that way. This is a Logitech mouse. It's MX Anywhere 2, and I'm on my third or fourth one of these. It connects via a little Logitech USB-A thing, not Bluetooth, because I found Bluetooth pretty unreliable for a mouse connection. This works way better for me for some reason. And to adapt it to my MacBook Pro, which only has USB-C, I've had this particular little adapter for over 10 years. That is nuts. Now, I'm a huge fan of having hard case protection. Certain items that I have here require that. I don't want my batteries to be smushed or banged up, so I keep them in a little case like this. I like to have spare batteries on me because this mouse runs on batteries and you also never know when you need them. Snacks top zipper pocket. Looks like I have a lot of stuff in here. Uh, yeah, I have a couple of <laughs> Ziploc bags in here. These are just plastic bags. You know, when you go kayaking or on a trip or something, you need something to be safe from water. If it's an emergency, you just have these with you. And I have eye drops. There this inside one of these Ziploc bags, just in case it spills. Earplugs. I sleep with earplugs so I don't get disturbed at night. It's important to get a good night's sleep. Ah, this is actually a little snap tight case. I got a bunch of these on Amazon. It's a little soft case, but it snaps shut, which is pretty neat. <laughs> Inside here, I have an old trusty pair. It's a pretty disgusting old pair, but I'll still use it if I really, really need it. And I've had emergencies where I needed to use these earbuds. These are the old wired ones. Let's just put that away real quick. I have a couple of emergency quick grab cables here. It's just a USB to USB cable. This is a USB-C to USB-A adapter, similar to this little thing, but it's in a little extension cable. In case I need to plug in something else that's USB-C, and this adapter is too wide because it sits right up 
up against the machine, then I'll use something like this. Another emergency USB-C to USB-A cable, emergency little screwdriver kit. I'm ready for stuff. Lip balm, chapstick. This is a little knife that I got on Amazon. It's like 11 bucks, pretty decent. It's not like the knife I have at home. You might have seen it on this channel before. I, that's my favorite knife, but this one is just a little on the go knife that I'll take with me. And I gotta remember every time I go on an airplane to take that out. Let's get into the main compartment. This is a little pouch that I came across and I saved it. It's just got a little zipper on it. The reason I like this pouch and I didn't buy anything new for it is because, well, it's clear so I can see everything right away. It was free. That's a benefit. If I find something like this that's similar, I'll link to it in the description. But it's also flat so I can put it inside a pocket that's on the side wall of my backpack. And this has just extra cables. So it has USB to USB-C, USB mini, a mini b thunderbolt 3 if you're in the apple ecosystem you have a requirement for lots and lots of dongles i have those i have a usb c to ethernet dongle which did come in handy a couple of times this is from anchor if you don't have wi-fi but if you have an ethernet connection that's really useful for airplane rides if you're going with somebody and you have a wired connection to your headphones this is handy because it's a splitter the rest are just more adapter cables Another hard shell case because I want to protect this investment here. In here I have the charger for my MacBook Pro and it's the 140 watt edition. And I also have this little thing from Anchor which I've already had for many years. I don't even know if they still sell it, but if they do, I will link to it. And it's just a fast charger for USB-C devices. In this case, I also fit a couple of cables. One is the MagSafe cable for my laptop and just a really long USB-C to USB-C charge cable in case I need to charge any USB-C thing. Now, this might be a funny thing, but actually it comes in really handy. I have an empty, tiny little plastic bottle. Depends on where I'm traveling. Instead of carrying a big water bottle with me, I just have this and I can refill it at airports, um, anywhere I go, I refill it. I drink out of it. You probably need to change this once in a while just so that uh, you don't get bacteria accumulation. I know, pretty gross stuff, but hey, you're still watching. So <laughs> here is the main event, my MacBook Pro 16. This is the M2 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch, 64 gigs of RAM. And this is what I use for all my work. Now, the one thing that I said that I don't normally carry that's with me today which is makes my backpack this much heavier is this. This is a dual external screen. This particular model is by Limink and uh, they sent this to me to test it out. So far my impressions is that it's a pretty good screen, way better than the one I made a video about last year. That was their previous model. This is a much, much improved model at the cost of weighing a heck of a lot more. So it's very heavy, but it's solid. This thing, this thing will break you, it will not break. So you gotta weigh those benefits. Now that was the end pocket. This is the pocket that's protected. It's a TSA pocket. My backpack actually unzips like this so that I can have my laptop separate here. I've had to use that in the past, not so much anymore. Either they stop checking or they just make you take the laptop out anyway. There's also a middle pocket here. And if all you came for is my little gadgets and my software development stuff, then that's pretty much it. The stuff that's left in the middle pocket is all stuff I carry with me for making videos. I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, there is a tech thing in here actually. This is tech slash video gear. So you can look at it both ways, I guess. It's a transition item. This is the Ray-Ban Meta glasses. I primarily use it for video because it can take HD videos with your glasses. This case charges it and it's got a USB-C plug right there. And it also acts as a pair of sunglasses in case I need that. I have a small Sony camera, again, in a protective case because you don't want to mess up your electronics. This is the ZV-1. And I find that this is the best combination for compactness and quality. Really like this little camera. Now, some of you have asked me before, is that a drone following you in the store? Well, no, it's not a drone. 
but it sure does look like one. This is Insta360 X3, and it's a 360 camera. This creates really cool shots. And if you're wondering how I got those over the head shots, I used this, this Insta360 boom arm. So Insta360 sent a couple of things to me to use in my videos. This is all beat up. It's been in my backpack for a long time. This thing extends to 300 centimeters, giving me the ability to go really high up with those shots that look like a drone shot. Now this next thing is probably my favorite thing I use for making videos. This is called the Flow, and it's a image stabilizer, otherwise known as a gimbal. As soon as I turn this thing on, it starts stabilizing, and now the app automatically starts up. I connect it, this is on a magnet, and now my iPhone becomes a little robot. But why do I love this thing so much? Not because of its stabilization. The iPhone really does a good job stabilizing. It also stabilizes even more, but Check this out. I make a little gesture and now it's tracking me. It's recording and tracking me at the same time. So wherever I move, if I walk around the room, it records me and it follows me around. It's got a computer vision model in there, so it's AI based. And this thing is like having a second cameraman. So in my videos, when I have those shots where I'm moving around and somebody seems to be tracking me with a camera, it's probably this guy. A couple of other things. This is just a little suction cup to attach my camera or my phone to a window or glass or something smooth. And I have a regular clamp here. This is not just a regular clamp, it's a Condor Blue clamp, which is a little bit more expensive than usual clamps, but it works really well. Wherever I position my camera, it just stays there. And I use the Manfrotto mounting system on all my gear so that I can snap any piece of gear together just like that and I can mount anything to anything else. Now my tech bag is now empty, but that's not the only thing I travel with. I have a clothing bag and there's one thing in there that I wanted to share. I actually got this bag for free from Telerik because I was a developer expert for NativeScript, but I've been using... It's underwear. <laughs> but I've been using compression sacks for many years now. This one is from REI, and recently they've stopped selling these. So I looked at Amazon and I found similar ones. They sound a little bit different. This one sounds like that. This one sounds more crunchy. But so far, I've taken this on one trip with me, exactly one trip, just now, and it seems to work okay. In fact, it's an upgrade from the REI one because it has these clips. And if you don't know what a compression sack does, it takes a lot of clothing and it smooshes it down to a really small size. This is good for suitcases, for backpacks, so I take it on pretty much every single trip I go on. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I don't think this was too embarrassing. Again, I probably can't find links for all these things, but the things that I do find, I will link to them down below in the description, and you can purchase them there. And of course, this is the kind of stuff I have with me all the time, but uh, this particular trip, I have a few more things with me because I have some equipment to make the videos. Uh, if you wanna see videos about that, let me know in the comments down below. That's a little bit more involved. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I will see you in the next video.